Okay guys, so my next project is going to be a, uh, a miniature jet engine. I've been wanting to build a jet engine now for, I think it's been, I think three years, something like that. But I've never had the time or money. But, uh, with me working now, I've got money coming in. So I've got a, you know, a little bit extra money to spend. So I'm gonna make a replication of theirs. The only the difference is is that mine's going to be machined completely out of steel alloys, uh, just like this, except it'll be sheet metal that is uh, 0.5 to 0.75 millimeters thick, and uh, it will be a little bit nicer of a design. They slot those together. Uh, I shouldn't say slopped it together, but they put it together kind of rough to get a basic generalization of how things work and to try and see how, what they can improve and whatnot. So what I want to do is take their findings and put that into my own work and yeah. So um, I've made a model here of what the finished product is going to uh, somewhat look like. You have your ducted fan then this is uh, basically the compressor and then this is the combustion chamber with the nozzle so this all pretty much just fits together with compression and screw fittings if I can get this apart for you guys I can show you what I mean air comes in through the ducted fan and passes past the restrictor this limits, or this compresses the air as it is forced around it, and uh, that uh, increases the uh, air density, giving a uh, greater combustion, resulting in greater expansion of the gases and air around it, uh, resulting in a higher velocity of the exiting gases, for, uh, producing higher thrust. We have, so we got the restrictor, which will be made out of aluminum. Uh, as soon as I find a place to machine that for me, I'll have that done. And then this will be um, a uh, this piece will be aluminum. This piece will be a ducted fan. Um, I'm probably gonna get that out of a hair dryer just to save money. But um, and then. This, the combustion chamber, will be made out of a very heavy, uh, heavy as in uh, strength-wise, a very heavy uh, steel alloy, so it doesn't melt under the extreme temperatures. Uh, I think the temperatures are around, I don't remember, but it's a big jump anywhere from like 15 to 2100 degrees, something like that. So, yeah, we got the nozzle. Uh, your compressed air comes in here with your fuel. It's combusted inside here. And your expanding gases exit out here, creating thrust, pushing it. My goal is to create a model, or a, yeah, a model that is just a little bit bigger than your, theirs, as to create three quarters of a pound of thrust, approximately. That way I can build later on I can build another one a better design after I get my prototype done to make a RC car that runs off my jet engine so that's the plan I start building next week uh, about five or six days I'll give you an update uh, I should have my money by then but I'm not entirely sure so yeah, that's my plan for now, and I will uh, keep you updated. Peace.